Welcome back to Instagram. It's got a name now. <laughs> it's the show here on this YouTube channel where we go on Instagram and uh, we find a random word generator and then we take that as the hashtag and we look at the hashtags for that random word. Now, it sounds kind of interesting, but it's more about the journey. It's where we go. It's the friends we make along the way. We find the strangest things. So let's get into Instagram. Here we go. Generate random word. Work. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here we go. Hashtag work. What do people do for work? Let's find out. We work out. We take selfies. We lounge. What is this? Moroccan tannery. In the old days, working there meant a high economic status. Moroccan leather products are known around the world and the salaries of the workers, as well as demand for the products were matching that fame. As with many industries, uh, things change over time and their work remains the same, strenuous, dirty, wet. It is no longer as lucrative and attractive as it once was. Wow. Well, there you go. I guess they're tanning the leather in Morocco. What does this guy do for work? He walks around the workshop. Oh, dang, look at this guy about to bust a move. Oh, dang. <laughs> Sweet moves. Musical. As if out of every single random word it could choose, it chooses words like work and musical. Ah, yes. There's a musical. Show us what you got. Good. That was worth it. Very nice. Musical guitar playing. Next word. Ooh, embark. What are we embarking on? Uh, dogs. Dogs bark. You know, they go, embark. Stab. <laughs> All right. Let's see some hashtag stabbing. Hashtag stab. Young lovers. And they are not sleeping. Young lovers in the hay. Loft. This is so wise. So wise. Uh, what about this one? This one looks innocent and fun. We're just looking at some beaches. Of course. Hashtag stab. Why is there so much surfing stuff for stab? I don't understand the connection. Next word. Continental. My mom makes continental. I see. Cars are very continental. And so is this thing. What is it? Fulfills. All day cafe. I see. That is one. Pimped out beetle. And very. Continental. What's the connection there with continental? Sometimes like you pick these random words and then that's just like associated so hard with like a random thing. Slide. Oh, no way. No way. Is this an actual slide? <laughs> well, that's the next best thing. <laughs> that is the zoom. That is insane zoom action. You have to really catch yourself at the bottom there because it kind of just shoots you off onto the floor. Oh, dang. Yeah, give me that. A library? Obviously, you need slides in a library. That's why they call them slide berries. I just want to see someone on the slide. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? I am. Set. Go. Go. Yay. Yay. This is way more confident in water than I was as a kid. <laughs> I would have been like, okay, but like, you're going to catch me, right? Like, like before my nose goes underwater, like that part that I that I breathe air with. <laughs> the next word is, of course, cave. I'm ready to see some caves. Oh yeah, there's a cave. Nice cave. That guy's going down a cave. He's also drilling it, showing that cave who's boss. Dude, check out that cave. It's a pretty nice cave. Oh, I know this one. That's where Dumbledore went with Harry and then stuff went down. It was a mess. Dude, that guy's ripped. What's more rock hard? His abs or the cave? Cooperate. Guys, let's see what kind of cooperation posts there are. Hi, are you from Basis Team? Yes. I have this small query. Please help me. I'm busy currently. Please listen. I'll only take two hours. No! <laughs> it's uh, funny. I too just can't stand it when there's Basis Team. Wait, no. When I'm from Basis Team. And you're fault and you're trying to ask me a sw small inquiry. I try to be a nice person, but sometimes my mouth doesn't cooperate. <laughs> so true. That's me. Hashtag cooperate. My mouth 
and me being nice. Do not hashtag cooperate. So this random word generator also has a weird words option where you get words like curante, quick Italian baroque dance involving running steps. What about van seer, a carnivorous South African ferret? <laughs> Show me one of those. What? That's not a carnivorous South African ferret. Where are my carnivorous South African ferret friends at? That's certainly not a ferret. And I know a ferret when I see one. I'm, I'm starting to maybe not believe that this word actually refers to a South African carnivorous ferret. Now I just actually have to know. I have to Google that. It's a dream pop band. Wait, what? Now I'm just confused. Is that one? Is that the Van C Ray? It looks angry. <laughs> it's one angry ferret. And I know an angry ferret when I see one. Are they extinct? They must be. Weirdly can't find like anything about it. Or is your ferret? All right, I'll show you guys a not angry ferret. This is soot. She is an Australian carnivorous ferret. <laughs> the baby. The baby. The oldest animal in the house. But you are the baby. <laughs> Cockat. Official shipping seal. Customs clearance form. I'm not Instagramming that. Vernix. A greasy substance covering infant at its birth. Mm, I'm probably also going to give that one a miss. Omnifarious of all kinds. Surely some quirky person has hashtagged Omnifarious before. 387 people have. This guy has. Hashtag Omnifarious. Yeah. When nature does it better in the middle of summer. Oh, dang. Nature do be hard at work making shelves for you to store all your soda on. <laughs> so you got something to say? You want to introduce yourself? I feel like it took her a little while to wake up from whatever nap she was in. And now she's like, oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so we, uh, we doing this? What do you reckon, soot? What about soot? Hashtag soot. Ah, yes. Cars. Why is it that every random word just brings you cars on Instagram? <laughs> They've claimed all of the words. That's some hashtag soot action right there. If anybody is interested, no. Soot here is not named after Wilbur Soot. It's actually the other way around. Is that a cat? Is this a cat named Soot? Can you just hear the uh, snores from a distance? Hashtag Soot. Ah, Soot, look, it's one of you. There's another animal named Soot and it also has fangs. Is this Soot also? I'm starting to believe that black cats are just adorable, mischievous little bears. It's Soot. Look, Soot, look. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure she, uh, she wants to... No chewing, no chewing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Look straight into the camera and say your parting words to the stream. Goodbye, everybody. And remember, I'm not named after Wilbur Soot. Wilbur Soot is named after me. The next weird word, unicity, uniqueness, oneness. This has got to have some quirky Instagram quotes on it. Where are my quirky Instagram quotes at? Basic elements of a workout. Pre-workout. Minimum air, yang, cook, cup, dan, look. Okay, uh, that's clearly not in English. For my pre-workout, I've got to do one of those. Abby, you want to do the workout with me? We're about to do a little workout. Ah! <laughs> wow! Wow! All right, what's next? It's all the animals. It's animal stream today. Work out my lungs. All right. <sighs> next. Feel a little bit dizzy. And then we recover it with some water. Mm, Unicity. There we go. Done. Easy workout, easy. I don't understand why people don't work out. It's pretty easy. Like I just did it in like 30 seconds. Mithridate, an antidote to poison. Let's see some antidotes. 974 antidote posts. Is this some like fashion line? Yeah, it is. It's a fashion line. See what I mean? You get these random words and then they just get assigned to like random objects or in this case, a, a fashion line. Maybe try vampire squid. Oh dang. Heck is that? Whoa. It's a flowy. Does it drink blood? Like why is its name so metal? And why is the music so intense? <laughs> They're extremely ancient, possibly uh, representing some of the only living descendants of the common ancestors of both octopus and squid. Wow. Jeez. That is a funky looking animal. Kind of looks like he's got big brain. Like here's him, he's kind of smirking a little bit and he's just got absolutely five head going on. 
It looks like an onion. <laughs> oh, no way. It's my favorite Sims from Twilight. Oh, hey, Abby. Look, y you're too young to know Twilight. Look, it's the moment when Edward saves her because he's a vampire. It's very intense. It's pretty crazy. It's actually like a, it's like a real story. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Okay, fine. You're more of a new moon kind of guy. Abby Sue, not a fan of Twilight. I remember that time my dental hygienist had uh, tools all in my mouth and then asked me why I don't like Twilight because she loves it. I don't know why. I swear that's something I've talked about in a really old video. But you're right. There's something about like dentists or whatever. They're like, so so what are you doing? Like, tell me what you do. I don't know. I just try to like, got a lot to show funky stuff on the internet. I did some funny idiots, you know. And they're like, what? Gonna be a little bit clearer. It's just a little bit hard. You know, stuff in my mouth. I'd love to talk to you. Hey, Oxta. Hey, Oxta. You don't you take things right really off. Ochnology. Science of fossilized footprints. It's gotta be. Certainly, there's some interesting footprints out there. Oh, yes. There's a lump. It was certainly a long boy. For my daily fossil post, I present a super rare uh, for the location and wonderfully preserved uh, fossil reptile trackway from the Triassic Passaic Formation of New Jersey. The track type is referred to as, here we go, Chirotherium luli. Oh yeah, that's like those anime kids. Uh, right. Chirotherium meaning hand beast, hence the thumb like digit. Ah. Oh. It's got thumbs. This long boy had thumbs. Wow. I can't believe that people see a couple dents on a rock and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's one of those crocodile long boys with thumbs. Like people really know their stuff. <laughs> Very dainty frontal legs. You want to say that to its face? Would you stand in front of this thing and be like, oi mate, got some dainty legs there in the front. See what he does to you. Jeez. Now that is what we're talking about. Look at that thing. The giant theropod footprint recently discovered early in why didn't they pick easier words for these things? Deposits exposed in the Maragua Crater, Bolivia, measures 1.15 meters across. Hey, a single footprint is a tease. The hunt is now on to find a series of footprints. Oh, footprint. Oh, what a tease you are. This I can get behind because that is clearly a footprint. You look at that and you're like, dang, I don't need to be a, uh, what are we called? Ichnologist to know that that is a big boy footprint. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, yeah, I'm like coming out of the shower and I see some like footprints going through the bathroom and I'm like, ah, oh, Eppie's walked through the bathroom with wet feet again. <laughs> That's my day-to-day technology. -day I wonder if it's still called that, if it's just like a converse footprint, you know what I mean? You just see like some converses out the backyard and you're like, ah, oh, that must have been Gregory. He wears converses. He must have been here somewhat recently within the past couple days because the day before that, it rained. Anyway, come and follow me on Twitch. We do this live. Get some of the Nug Thug merch. Or if it's, uh, if the, uh, lemon cotton is more your style, get one of those. Or both. I don't know. I'm not going to stop you. And, of course, I'll see you tomorrow.